Okay, good morning. I'm going to show you how to turn on two-factor verification uh, for your email. Now, this is a requirement for our cybersecurity insurance, and it's just another step we're taking to um, secure our data and, our, and protect our students and our, our faculty and staff. So what you'll want to do first is if you haven't logged into your Google account in your email, you want to do that. And then you can come and you can go to your district homepage. You can go to google.com. It doesn't matter which site you go to. You just want to be able to access your profile and click on your Google account. And then you want to go to manage your Google account. So top right, click on your picture, manage your Google account. On the left, you will see security right here. Click on security. You want to scroll down to where you see signing into Google and two-step verification it says off. We're going to turn that on. So we'll get started. Verify your password. Shows me the devices that I can get prompts on to um, verify logging into my email. So those are fine you don't see it you can go through that process of adding it i'm going to continue i want to receive codes at this number i want to make sure it's my cell phone number and you want to do text messages instead of phone calls or if you do not want to do that you can choose another backup option but this is what i highly recommend and then send it's going to send a code to my phone just to verify that it works I'll check my text messages and I'll enter in that code. It starts with a G dash, but you only need to enter in the numbers. Right, so it shows me again. I'll stay signed into these devices. I may get prompts. I'm going to click to turn on. Two step verification is on, voice or text message and that's all there is to it. So right now we're going to give you time to turn it on yourself by going through these steps um, so you can get used to it. But by the end of the month, we're going to do a force verification. So um, go ahead and take care of this today. This helps us. This is just another step we're taking to protect our data and to protect our students and our faculty and staff. Thank you.